Hello guys, let's look at Microsoft Excel where we shall look at sum if and count if and also ranking functions. To start with, I have these values here. We have property, this is the value of the property. Then we have commission in US dollars and also we have some data here. Then we shall also go to example two where we have category food and sales. Then we shall also use this one for count if. Therefore, if we start with the example one, for instance, we want to uh, get the sum of commission of property value uh, which is greater than 160,000. Uh, Therefore, for that case, uh, we shall just go to, uh, to this part here, yeah, down here, for example, we just type uh, equals to sum if then I take uh, the the various sum if uh, therefore I need to take the the range uh, from here uh, up to uh, therefore from there up to here that is the value that is the range then uh, from there you just put a comma then the uh, whatever you want, like for example, I want greater than one sixty thousand. That's the 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 value I want. Then from there, I want it to sum the commission. Therefore, I want it to sum the commission, and the ranges is from that point. Uh, from that point, uh, the range is from this point here up to here then I cross the bracket therefore what I'm doing uh, the system will check the property value whose value is greater than uh, 160,000 then it will sum the commission therefore this is the answer if you literally check on the values here the value that is greater than uh, one 160,000 is this one, therefore it takes 14,000. Then 300 is greater than 160,000, it takes 21,000. Therefore 21 plus 14. Then 400,000 is greater than 160, therefore it adds 1, 2, 3 and gives you the answer as 63,000. Therefore this is the sum of the values whose property uh, value that is is greater than 160 therefore uh, ladies and gentlemen that's how I have used the sum if for that uh, instance then if you go to example 2 here uh, we also uh, do uh, a bit of explanation here for you to understand like for instance uh, we want to uh, we want to have the sum of sales of all food in fruit in fruits category and therefore for that case we can just come to this point type equals sum if then I open the uh, the bracket then the various our uh, various are from this one uh, sorry the range the range is from that one to that that is our range then we put a comma we put a comma then our quotes that is our quotation marks we want fruits category fruits category for that case then uh, from which range therefore our range we want the sales uh, that is for the sales for the sales for from this point you want it to add up up to uh, this value here then you cross the the bracket Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, what we are doing, we want the sum of the sales of all foods in the fruits category. Therefore, again, we want the sum of the sales of all foods in the fruits category. Therefore, for that case, if I hit on enter, I get 2,000 US dollars. Therefore, for that case, if you literally go to this sum if we are checking this category A2 to A7 fruits therefore if you take fruits you will get the value of fruit is this one 
800 then the next value of fruits is 1200 and for that case 1200 plus 800 you get 2000 us dollars therefore that is how you uh, can uh, uh, have that one and uh, you can also do some of the sales of all foods that end with ES, that is vegetables. Uh, in the case we have, uh, that's sorry, we have oranges and um, tomatoes. Therefore, for that case, uh, we can have uh, uh, that end with ES, ES here. That is, we shall get apples, oranges, uh, fruits that end with ES, tomatoes. Therefore, for that case, you can just come to this point and type equals to sum if, then uh, sum if, then we go to B, uh, we want to, uh, to have B2, that is our range to this, comma, then uh we want them to end that end uh, that is we, we put it in quotes uh, that end with es that end in, with es uh, for that case that way then our range uh, that is the sum we want it from that point uh, to this point here therefore what we are doing we want the sum of foods uh, whose names end with ES. Therefore, we expect uh, uh, 4300. Therefore, 4300 for that case is the, is the addition of tomatoes, uh, oranges, and apple, apples for that case. Therefore, this one uh, is adding the white card here. We indicate adding with ES. Therefore, uh, we can also go ahead and uh, produce some of the sales of foods who do not have a category. Therefore, for that case, just click on uh, uh, escape. Therefore, we, we need to go to the next one uh, with without category, without category, category, without category. Therefore, this is one butter. 400 this one it doesn't have a category and for that case we shall have equals to uh, we shall have equals to sum if then we open the bracket then we take the range the range is this one up to up to this junk uh, that point comma without that is blank uh, then uh, we want to have uh, that value uh, that uh, that value up to this value here that way therefore you get 400 therefore what we are doing ladies and gentlemen here we are getting some if of no category and for that case it is butter which is 400 and if i hit enter you get uh, 400 therefore that's how we do some if ladies and gentlemen let's proceed to count if now count if on contrary it counts the occurrences or frequency like for example if i want to count how many instances of uh, oranges appear here therefore you just come to this point and type uh, equals to count equals to count if count if then i take the range like now i want to count the category from this point to this point uh, comma well, who do i want to uh, to count for that case therefore i want to count apples for therefore i just put quotation and type the correct spellings apples that way therefore i i i want to, to count uh, uh, how many instances of apples Therefore, it is only the one instance. And uh, on the other hand, you can also uh, wish to count the instance of banana and apple. Therefore, what you need to do in this case, this is, uh, uh, we want to have the, the instance of, um, how many instances of banana 
and apples. Therefore, for that case, I'll just go, for example, let me use this one here for, for, uh, for clarity. Therefore, I'll have a count. I'll have uh, equals to count, then the range. Then I'll put uh, the value of, uh, like, uh, I want apple. Apple is in A4. Therefore, I'll just type uh, uh, A4 that way. Then I cross the bracket. I cross the bracket. Plus, again, I have count if for the same range. Uh, but, for example, banana. Banana is in A5. A5 for that case. Then I cross the bracket and hit enter. Therefore, you can see I get 2 as the answer. That is the instance of uh, the cell A4 and instance of whatever is inside uh, um, that is in cell A5. Uh, you can also uh, uh, go on you can also go on and try to count the number of cells with a value greater than or equal to and less than or equal to uh, a certain value. Therefore for that case right now if I just remove this we, uh, we can we want to we want to count the number of cells uh, with a value greater than or equal to, uh, to that 2 and less than or equal to 85 in cell B5 through B5 B2 uh, sorry through B2 to B5 and therefore for that case we shall just come to this point uh, type or uh, equal sign then count if uh, count if we change the value we count B2 uh, we want B2 to B5 uh, comma then we have our quotes that is greater than uh, greater than or equal to that two then we cross the bracket minus then again we have our count we change the range with our count our count is B2 uh, to B5, B2 to B5, B2 to B5, comma, greater than, greater than, you put the quotes, greater than, uh, that is uh, greater, greater than should be inside the quotes, therefore greater than uh, 85, you cross the, the quotes, you cross the bracket, then hit enter. Therefore, let's just see. We want the values from B, that is from B2 to B. Okay, let's just put B6. But up to B5, it's still correct that way because we want to have the difference between the values that are greater than that 2 here. And uh, this one should be less than 85, greater or equal to or that way. Therefore, it just makes sense. In case you want to do uh, a comparison, you can still use count if like I have done, either by adding up or also by subtracting. But basically, we use count if to uh, ask or to do a logic. Uh, comparison like I have done or when you just want to know the number of occurrences uh, on a certain that is on a certain uh, uh, instance you can also count the number of cells that uh, have value like seven characters and end with a certain letter like for example we can just go to this point here like have equals uh, equals count equals uh, count if then you open the bracket then like now I take this value up to this value up to a6 there comma you put a comma then you have your quotes you have your double quotes then here we need to have uh, we want 
like for example you can have one two three four five es you want to see that es I see what happens then we cross our bracket therefore what happens here we are trying to count the number of cells that have exactly seven characters and end with letter es in uh, that is in through that is through a two to a six that is the in our category therefore we have two um, that is with this it is actually orange and peaches that is we are counting from a2 to a6 the the that is the uh, that is the names or words with letters with seven characters and end with es then on the other hand ladies and gentlemen allow me to go back to example one uh, sorry to example two here then we go through now the ranking function for example if i want to rank if i want to uh, rank this here i can just put the rank function and rank these ones across therefore what i need to do is just to type equal sign here then i type rank then i just open the bracket i want to rank from this point up to this point then uh, from there that is the the range but before even to go that we first start with the first letter therefore we are ranking c2 c2 comma then from which range from this range up to this range but these ones must be in absolute cell reference that means that uh, you have to assign dollar assign the in absolute cell reference the value or the formula doesn't change when it is copied into a new location therefore you must put this one in uh, absolute then after doing that uh, you must uh, type zero or one like for example i use zero zero is for descending order uh, then one is for ascending order therefore the the formula is as simple as i have put it therefore if i click on okay this one this one will be position three then I just pull this down. Therefore, you see for yourself, this is position two. Position one is this one. Position two, position three, position four. Therefore, if I click on this one, ladies and gentlemen, you can be in a position to see the formula that I have used. Therefore, you type rank, the first value, then the range. You see two fours from which range, or which range do you want to rank? I want to rank from C2 to C7, C2 to C7, and zero, is it means descending order therefore it is also good to use that one that is the descending order then when you hit on ok then you'll be in a position to see the ranks as uh, as it happens therefore if in case you add more here like uh, ten thousand then for example i add eighty five thousand that way uh, that way then for example you just do this okay for now this one will appear since this one were not uh, among the the values here if i just uh, delete this but basically if i click on this you will notice that c7 changes that is the the relative part but this one doesn't change therefore you see this one changes this one changes this one changes therefore this one should change but whatever <coughs> i have encrossed in um, Whatever I have encrossed in absolute cell addressing or referencing using dollar sign uh, will not change. And for that case, ladies and gentlemen, I would wish to uh, request you to subscribe on my channel if you have not done so. Remember to comment so that I can be in a position to know where probably we shall head in our next uh, class. And also, you can just write a comment to request on something that uh, you feel I should do. And for that case, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. See you in my next session.